While paying out dividends every single month doesn't necessarily make a stock better, it's really easy to see why so many investors love the idea of receiving dividend payments every single month. So in this video, we'll be looking at two high yielding monthly dividend stocks that could potentially be a good option for people looking to immediately maximize their dividend income. The first monthly paying dividend stock we're going to look at is Stag Industrial stock ticker STAG, currently trading at $34.58 per share. Now Stag is actually a real estate investment trust and they're focused on the acquisition and operation of industrial properties throughout the United States. And if we scroll down here, we can see they operate in 41 different states and have 568 Eight total buildings with over 112 million square feet. So if we jump over to their investors PowerPoint, we can see most of these are operating up here in the north. They have quite a bit of exposure to Texas and California as well. Now this company currently has a starting dividend yield sitting at around 4.25%. We can see over the past year, they're up around 2.25% and year to date up around 6.89%, which is actually pretty impressive when you consider the fact that most real estate investment trusts are actually down quite a bit year to date. So if we dig into the dividend metrics for this company, like we've already mentioned, they pay out dividends every single month. And they've been increasing those dividend payments for 10 consecutive years, and they did used to pay out quarterly, but they moved to monthly paying dividends in around 2013. And since that time period, they have slowly but steadily been increasing those dividend payments. So if we go over to the dividend growth tab, we will see they have been able to increase those dividends slightly year over year over a 10 year time period, dividend CAGR of around 1.5% and the five year and the three year dividend CAGR sitting at around 0.7%. So yes, the dividend growth for this company is very, very slow, but do keep in mind they have a nice starting dividend yield, nice history of paying out dividends every single month. And it's also pretty typical for real estate investment trusts to have lower dividend growth rates. Now I do want to go ahead and analyze the safety of these dividend payments. And when you're looking at a real estate investment trust, looking at the dividend payout ratio is really not the best way to judge the safety. What we really want to be looking at is the AFFO payout ratio. And we can see the forward looking sitting at about 73% and for the trailing 12 months sitting at about 74.9%. That's a relatively healthy range. I don't really think that's anything to be concerned about. So the question we need to answer is, is stag trading at a good value? We'll go ahead and jump over to my REIT valuation spreadsheet. Well, we'll look at a few different valuations. And like always, if you'd like to, be able to download the spreadsheet, then you can head over to my Patreon Patreon page at the link in the description. But okay, let's go ahead and come up here and plug in stock ticker STAG and hit enter and you can see all of this data will load in. Now we've already touched on the dividend metrics, moving averages pretty close to even. Come down here, we can see analysts kind of have a target price of $37.40, beta of 1.03, so the volatility should be pretty close to that of the market. Now the first valuation we will look at is the AFFO multiples. This is a great valuation for real estate investment trust and basically what we're doing is we're comparing how the market's Buying companies that are similar in structure to STAG. So we can see our comparable companies right here, their price to AFFO multiple. Here's the average price to AFFO for those comparables sitting at about 25.35. Meanwhile, STAG has a price to AFFO of 17.18, meaning it looks like it's a little bit undervalued. When we plug it into our formula, we come to an intrinsic value of around $51.03 per share, quite a bit higher than that current trading price. Now, the next valuation we'll look at is the historical price to FFO. Basically what I did is I plugged in the historical price per share, the historical FFO per share so we can see our historical price to FFO. Basically what we're doing is we're looking at the current price to FFO which is sitting at 15.37 and the average price to FFO over the last 10 years which is 16.12. So it is pretty close to that 10 year average meaning based off where it's traded at historically it looks like it's trading pretty close to its fair value. The last valuation model we'll look at is the dividend discount model. And basically what we're doing is we're looking at how much this company's worth based on how much they pay out in dividends and how much that dividend is increasing. So like I've already mentioned, those dividend growth rates are pretty low. And moving forward, I'm projecting a dividend growth rate of just 1% for this company. So with a discount rate of around 8%, we come to a dividend discount model price per share of $21.21, a little below that current trading price. So when we jump over to the output tab, we can see the AFFO multiples for this company sitting at $51, dividend discount model $21, and according to our historical price FFO, it looks like it's trading at pretty close to fair value. So average all these together, we come to an intrinsic value about $36.12, very close to that current trading price of $34.58, just a 4.26% difference. So with a 10% margin of safety, you could see our acceptable buy price sitting at about $32.51. Now, as for me, I'm not currently looking at adding this company to my portfolio because I want to focus more on companies that will have higher dividend growth rates in the future. But if you're someone looking for immediate dividend income and dividends every single month, this could be a good option to consider adding to your portfolio. The next big monthly dividend payer we're going to be 
looking at is Main Street Capital stock ticker MAIN currently trading at $40.30 per share. Now, Main Street Capital is a business development company that specializes in providing debt and equity financing to middle market companies. So if we jump back over to Seeking Alpha, we can see over the past year, they're up around 8% and year to date up around 11%. Now, truth be told, there's actually not many business development companies that I actually like, but I do think this is one of the few good ones in my opinion. And we can see the starting dividend yield being shown on Seeking Alpha is 7%, but that's actually not accurate because every now and then this company will pay out what is known as a special dividend. So if we look at the dividend history, we can see right here, it looks like a special dividend was paid out right here, right here. They're basically some of the outliers where they pay out a larger than normal dividend payout. So if we jump over to my spreadsheet, we'll go ahead and plug in MAIN and hit enter. And you can see the actual starting dividend yield sitting at around 8.44%. But again, if we look at that 10 year dividend history, we can see pretty decent history overall of increasing those dividend payouts over time. So if we scroll up and look at the dividend growth rates, we can see a three year dividend CAGR of around 10%, five year of 3.58% and 10 year of 3.97%. So honestly, really solid dividend growth for a company that pays out dividends every single month and has a very high starting dividend yield. If we jump over to that dividend safety tab, we can see it looks like for the most part, the dividend payout ratios are in a somewhat healthy range. I don't think these dividend payments are in any risk whatsoever, but I still don't expect to see high dividend growth rates over long periods of time. But if we go ahead and jump back over to the stock valuation spreadsheet for a company like Main Street Capital, I think the two valuations we wanna focus on will be the multiples and the dividend discount model. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. I'll go ahead and zoom in, and we can see the two comparable companies we're looking at in this scenario, ARC, and GAIN, we can see their price to earnings multiple is somewhat low with an average PE of around 7.45. So with Main Street's earnings per share sitting at 4.93, that gives us an intrinsic value of $36.77 per share. Jump over to the dividend discount model. I'll zoom out just a little bit. But again, we can see the dividend growth rates kind of all over the place for the most part. Average growth rate of around 5% though. So I'm projecting a dividend growth rate of 2%, discount rate of 8.5%. That gives us a dividend discount model price per share of $46.29. So when when we jump over to the output tab, we can see our two valuations that we use gives us an average intrinsic value of $41.53, very close to the current trading price, only off by around 3%. So with a 10% margin of safety, it does look like the acceptable buy price sitting at around $37.38. So no, these companies we looked at today aren't necessarily trading at a value, but it could be a good option for people looking to immediately maximize their dividend income while also receiving dividend payments every single month. Now, again, I do wanna state that I'm not a big believer overall in business development companies for people looking to build long-term dividend growth portfolios, but I do think Main Street Capital is one of the better options for someone willing to invest in a business development company to receive high dividend payments that are relatively safe and also receive them every single month. So there you go, those are two monthly dividend payments that pay out big dividends every single month. Like always, if you'd like to, to download any of my spreadsheets, you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.